Yo, what's going on everyone? We're back. I'm here bringing another NBA 2K21 rebuild. In today's rebuild, we are going to be doing the Oklahoma City Thunder rebuild. And this is more of a Moses Brown type of rebuild. Moses Brown has been going off lately. He uh, he was recently uh, signed to a multi-year extension after having a great game against, I believe, the Boston Celtics. He had 23 points or he had 21 points and 23 rebounds or it was vice versa, 23 points, 21 rebounds. It was something like that. And he got a three-year extension, which is really good. He's from UCLA. He went undrafted. He didn't really he was a five-star recruit and all that he didn't really have like he didn't really do as good as he did at ucla um as he was supposed to do as a five-star recruit but he ended up declining for the draft anyway and he went undrafted and portland actually picked him up but portland let him go and then he went to the g league and started balling and the oklahoma city thunder gave him a shot and he actually got himself a multi-year extension which is really good he's been going off this year and let's see what his overall is man so right now they have, um, I don't really think they did updates yet, but they honestly, they left Moses Brown with, he's a 74, which isn't too bad. So hopefully we can get him up. But if you're new to the channel guys, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. And let's hop in this rebuild. So my face cam is gonna be up here for now, just to let y'all know. Um, I did have some difficulties still trying to get my green screen and all that. Y'all can see like the room is all messy and shit in the back, but let's get into this rebuild. So this team really has Shea Gilgis Alexander, Lorenzo Dort, and I want to say the big three would be Moses Brown. Al Horford will shut down for the rest of the season. So we'll probably just end up like trying to trade Al Horford to see what we can get for him right now. Nick with power forward, he'll go up. Mike Muscala is, he's playing very decent. He's got a 83 ball. I mean, he's a stretch big. Um, I want to see what else we can get though. Um, I do want to see what we can get for Al Horford. Maybe try to win now mode, you know, start. I do want to start, what's his name? I do want to start Moses Brown, of course, to get his potential all the way up and see what we can do. I probably will do a simulation of Moses Brown too, like a career simulation for him. But for right now, let's just see what we can get for Al Horford. So Al Horford, Tobias Harris, that wouldn't be bad. Kevin Love, Draymond. Um, I should make this kind of smaller, but y'all already know that's Al Horford right there in the corner. Um, Mitchell Robinson, Malik Monk, Oladipo. I do like I do like Evan Fournier. He's had <laughs> he's kind of having a bad low key kind of. He did start off pretty bad when he got traded to the Celtics, but. He, it's like, what do we need? Karis LeVert would not be bad. Make him a small four. He only makes 16 mil a year. Karis LeVert could actually come in and help. Malik Beasley, someone I like too. I do like Malik Beasley. I think I'm going to take Malik Beasley. I don't really trade for Malik Beasley, and he's having a very, he's having a decent season, man. Very good, stellar season. 90 mid, 85 three. Not too shabby. What are his uh badges like? I don't really know what his badges are. He got 14 shooting badges. That's nice. Two finishing, no defensive, but. It's all right, man. I do want to now, um, we could flip Rubio. He's got two years left. We'll flip Rubio and we'll throw in, I do need a backup center. And then we'll throw in like, Darius Miller's making seven million a year. Let's throw in Darius Leonard, see what we can get with Darius Leonard. Um, Robert Covington, Rudy Gay, Dennis Smith Jr., man. This dude fell off so hard, man. I thought he was going to be someone really good, but he just hasn't really been what he's supposed to be. Um, Dennis Schroeder's here. He did turn down an exchange from the Lakers. I do like Larry Nance's game a lot. He could be part of the future, but he is 27. He's kind of up there. Thank Dennis Smith Jr. Maybe we can get Dennis Smith Jr. popping. Who knows? Um, Yeah, let's try Dennis Smith Jr. I don't really ever trade for Dennis Smith Jr., so why not? And let's see what they have as a rotation. So it's going to be Dennis Smith Jr., Shea Gilgis Alexander, Malik Beasley, Isaiah Roby, and Tony Bradley, which I, they're not going to start Lorenzo Dort. Lorenzo Dort is still going to get playing time. Um, Moses Brown can start. Tony Bradley can be the backup center. He can... I don't really like Williams. How old is Williams? He's 25. Um, who is here that I don't... Wayne Ellington doesn't need no playing time. So we don't... Wayne Ellington's old. He doesn't need playing time. So we'll put Tony Bradley up here with 22 minutes. Um, I do want Moses Brown to start with... We'll give him... I want to give him 30 minutes tonight. So 31 minutes for him. And then Dennis Smith, Shea Gilgis Alexander, Malik Beasley, Isaiah Roby, and Moses Brown will be starting. So let's end the first season, man, and see how good this team can actually get. So we made it into the first season, and Nikola Jokic is MVP. That's pretty new. I haven't really seen that. Um, Lamelo Ball, rookie of the year, Spencer Dinwiddie, six man Giannis defense. Most improved goes to Christian Wood, and Mike Malone got coach of the year. And honestly, we did really, really bad. Like we went, I don't know. We we lost like I don't know how many games we lost. Here's all the stats you want to pause and look. Um, I don't think anyone made it for us. Um, we went like 27, yeah, 25 and 57. That's terrible. That's really bad. So luckily we do end up having like a top pick, but let's look at the stats. 
We had Shea Gilgis Alexander with 26 points, uh, four rebounds, and five assists. Malik Beasley with 18. I did end up starting Alexi. I can't even say his name, man. I'm just gonna say Alexis, Alexi, Alex, Alexa J. I don't know. He had 14 and six. Isaiah Roby went down. Like he wasn't doing too good, and he went down. Dennis Smith Jr. had 12 and five for us. Then uh, Moses Brown had 11, eight, and almost a block and almost a steal game. And that's about it. Dort had seven. I do want to get Dort going. I say I Roby only had four points, and then there's the rest. So, and somebody the playoffs. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all think Moses Brown could turn to a star? Y'all think he could have that like a song Whiteside type of year where he just breaks out and gets like the big contract and stuff? I think he could, man. As Jason Tatum, Asia Franz MVP. Let's head to uh, the draft lottery because we we have so many picks, man. It's it's outrageous. I'm not we. I'm a Spurs fan, but the Thunder here have so many first round picks. So we are projected um, the number two pick, Nets via Houston. I don't know how the Nets got Houston's pick. And we get the first pick and the third pick. How do we get the third pick via Houston? It's in that Houston trade with uh, Russell Westbrook, I guess. We got the third and the first pick. Let's go, man. Let's go. Let's head to the NBA draft. So now we can get pretty much Kate Cunningham, which we do need a point guard. So let's resume draft. Come on. And with the first pick, we are choosing none other than Kay Cunningham. And then we will send him to the next pick. And let's see if we could trade this pick actually. And maybe get like some players to come help right now. Um, so let's do trade, uh, proposed trade. We'll do the third pick and can I do Kay Cunningham? Just wanna see what we can get. It's a bonus, Clay Thompson in the fourth pick. We're not gonna trade Kay Cunningham. Um, what if I throw Malik Beasley up there? Malik Beasley had a good season, but he's the one that makes the type of money. I do like Patrick Williams' game, Russell Westbrook, James Wiseman, CJ, Devin Vassell, and DeJounte, Christian Wood, and John Wall, Chris Stops. I do like Chris Stops, man. Um, I would trade the third pick for Chris Stops, move him to the power forward spot. Jonathan Isaac always sucks on 2K. Um, let's see if we can do this trade for Chris Stops. Without throwing Malik Beasley in or Trey Burks. And all they want is an unprotected Clippers pick from next year and Miami's pick. Um I'll do that and then we'll throw you. We have so many picks to throw in. We could throw in his 2025 unprotected first. They still want the Clippers first, man. Um, I don't want any of these guys. And they agreed to it, cool. So we got Kristaps. The Sims the end of the draft, man. Kristaps is definitely gonna help this team. Um, we could have, who did they take? Evan Mobley, yeah, there's no one really as good. So let's go to team player options and we do got to bring back Shea Gilgis still. Yeah, we're going to bring back all these guys. So is the Thunder are in a very particular situation here. They end up, like they have some good young players, but they have like cap that players that they don't need. Like they still have Al Horford that they don't need his contract. Tony Bradley, I don't want to bring back. Dennis Smith Jr. for 11 million, no thank you. Just, I don't like Josh Jackson's game either. So, how much money do we have is the question. Who do we have? We have K Cunningham at point guard. We already have pretty much every position. Um, It would just be nice to actually get someone. But like I said, we really already have positions. So we could work on the bench, that'd be nice. So maybe get like Derrick Rose for the bench role. Get Derrick Rose, maybe get like, What's Duncan Robinson at 77? Maybe get some shooters off the bench. Like Gary Trent Jr. wouldn't be bad either. Or Kelly Olenek. Uh, let's go with Gary Trent. But let's see if we can get these two guys. Um, Derek Rose. Um, we can't get both. Reannounce the rights. I'm not matching that. Um, so we could only get one. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna take Gary Trent just because we could only get one right now. So we'll take Gary Trent and let's see how much money we have left after we do this. Um, Gary Trent and then. We do need like a backup point guard. Can I get like, these are the ones we can afford. Uh, this list kind of sucks. I guess we'll go with TJ McConnell. Not the worst, not the best, but you still get a valuable backup point guard. Derek Rose was still there, but let's go to player progression now. Uh, I'm very like excited about this team. Um, we are going to be moving Kristaps to power forward. So Kristaps will be starting at power forward for us. I might even trade Kristaps for something else. Everyone went up, which is good to see. What did Moses Brown go to? Moses Brown didn't go up. That sucks. That honestly does suck. Let's go give him untapped potential. We gotta give Moses Brown untapped potential. There's like literally no way that he should not have gone up. Low draft class and user created draft class will do this one. 
That, that just sucks. You work so hard and you don't go up. That sucks, man. But we do have three, so we are going to give untapped potential to Moses Brown, wherever he is. Moses Brown will give untapped potential to a B plus, and then we'll give untapped potential, of course, to K Cunningham, and then we will give perimeter shooting to, um, we'll give it to Shea Gilligan, Alexander. So he got a 93 and an 86 mid. So next, let's go to the off season, not the off season, the next season, and for sure we're moving Kristaps to power forward. Um, I kind of like how the team is. I really do. So let's sim to the trade deadline. We don't even have a point guard. We need a point guard. They're not even starting Malik Beasley. They're bringing Malik Beasley off the bench and K cutting him. I forgot. I don't know why they're bringing K cutting him off the bench. Um, Moses Brown is still starting, which is good. Gary Trent off the bench. Um, I want to start Malik Beasley. He's a higher overall. So let's fix this real quick and give K cutting him. All right. So you can get 25. You can get. All right, we'll do 13, we'll do 17, we'll do this, we'll do this, give you 30, and then give the rest to K Cunningham. So this is how I'm just gonna be, man. It's gonna be K Cunningham, Shea Gilligas, Alexander, Malik Beasley, Chris Stouts, Moses Brown, with Lorenzo Dort, PJ McConnell, Gary Trent Jr., and Darius Baisley off the bench. Um, I really like the way this team is. We got so much young and potential out here, but let's go see it. I'm gonna just, I'm going to sim to the trade deadline. If we're doing bad, you'll see me at the trade deadline. And if not, you'll see me at the end of the second season. So we're here at the end of the second season and we did improve from last season. Um, I didn't really want to make any trades because we did go 40 and 42. K Cunningham got rookie of the year. Um, I just felt like we were in a good position to where we can improve and actually win 50 games next year. So let's see if we got anyone on the all NBA teams and we did not. Um, it's pretty shocking to see no one made the NBA team. Um, I thought Shea Gilgus would, but he didn't. So, K Cunningham did make the all-rookie first team. Um, we did not make the playoffs yet again. And it kind of sucks, but we do got one year left to try to get it. we make it the playoffs. First top slides with 24 points, 10 rebounds, 2 blocks. Then it was Shea Gilligas was 20, 25 and 5. Then K Cunningham, 18. Malik Beasley did his thing. Moses Brown had 10, 8, and a block game. So, he went up to a 76, which isn't too bad. Gary Trent had 8 points off the bench for us. Let's just send the playoffs, man. Like... I like how this team is like we got depth we got pieces i think it's just it's honestly that it's um what's his name the Sixers going on the championship i just think it's moses brown that he's not progressing and he's only like a 78 and that could be holding us back let's go to the nba lottery draft lottery because we should have some other picks and let's see if we have any other picks so where do we pick at man we pick the hawks have our picks we don't even have a pick um yeah we have a pick but it's like 26. So let's just go trade that pick. So I don't even want that pick, man. What can we get for the 25th pick? And what do I throw up there? It's like maybe TJ McConnell, get somebody else. He's got good defense. He's a good point guard, man. Um, Norman Powell, Jakob, Gallinari. It's like all old people, man. The 11th pick. Uh, I think I'll keep TJ. Um, I think I'll just let the computer draft someone. So let's just... Go to rookie sign see who they draft it's cool um it took mark williams 76 overall paint defender not bad 76 at pick 25 that's like an actually that's an actual great pick man so now let's go to um i'll pick up all of these just so we can like trade them and then for agency let's see who we got to bring back we got to bring back shay i believe shy shay shay gilligas alexander we do got to bring back we'll offer him that and he accepts it, so that's pretty much all our money gone to waste. Like I hate how it goes to the one year six million when you actually offer someone money. Um, how much money do we have left? We only got four million, so not really much here. Could get Duncan Robinson and then just flip him or something or keep him. Yeah, you can't have too many shooters on a team, man. You need shooters on a team. We got Duncan Robinson. Let's go to player progression. Hopefully Moses Brown did go up. That would be very clutch if Moses Brown did go up. And Moses Brown, like he he rarely goes up, man. It's kind of it's kind of sucks that he rarely goes up. Um, everybody went up, man. TJ McConnell kind of went down, but other than that, Kristaps went up three. Let's go to training camps, man. Let's go get Moses Brown um some untapped potential yet again. And I'm honestly I am going to be doing a Moses Brown career simulation to make this a lot better. This kind of this kind of stunk because he didn't go up at all. 
So we'll give Moses Brown on top potential went from B plus to B plus again. We'll give perimeter defense to uh, K Cunningham, make his defense better, and let's head to next season, man. Um, we may only bring 15 players into the regular season, um, so we got 16. We gotta cut someone or trade someone. So, um, we'll trade this Williams dude, Kenrich Williams. I just need picks. Yeah, just give me the picks from the Spurs. And then we'll go to next season. And honestly, I want to see what I can get for Kristaps right now. If we can get something good for Kristaps, uh, I might move on. We'll do this pick and this first. Let's see what it brings to the table. Ben Simmons. Mm -hmm. Ben Simmons, Carl Anthony Towns. What did Kristaps do? What did Kristaps do this year? Because I know he led us in scoring. He averaged 24 points, 10 rebounds, 2 blocks. Like, he did very good. 41% from 345, 87. Really averaged 19. Mm. DeJounte and Andre Drummond. You get two players right there. Um, Rudy Gobert. Ooh, Bam out of bio and PA. That's not bad, man. That's definitely not a bad trade. John Collins, Julius Randle's at 89. Damn. These are some good trades, man. Um... I'm really thinking about taking this trade right here, but we'll stick with it, man. We'll stick with the lineup. We'll, li we'll literally stick with the lineup here. So it's Kate Cunningham, who's at 86, Jay Gilgis, Malik Beasley, Chris Stops, and it's gonna be Moses Brown, wherever Moses Brown is, probably in the reserves. It's gonna be Moses Brown. Um, he could be the backup center, man. Doors not even playing, that's crazy. Crazy how Doors not even playing. Um, but we got so much depth on this team. So that's the lineup, man. Um, if nothing works out by the trade deadline, you'll see me at the trade deadline this time for real. They make it to the end of the final season, and Luka Doncic got MVP, JD Davis, Rookie of the Year, Six Man is PA, Giannis, Defensive Player of the Year, Most Approved goes to Keelan Hayes, and Doc Rivers got Coach of the Year. Um, let's see if uh, SGA made any of the All NBA teams, and I don't believe he did. Kay Cunningham did for us, that's good. He made the All NBA second team, and SGA did not make a team, and none of them made the All Defensive team either, so. We did end up getting in the playoffs. We did get the 50. We went 46 and 36. I literally did not stop at the trade deadline because we literally were like, we were 39 and like 20 or something at the trade deadline. And then we ended up losing like down the road or something. We had a very positive record. I thought we were going to get 50 wins and clearly we didn't get 50 wins. So K Cunningham led us with 22 points, six rebounds, eight assists. And it was Kristaps with 20 and eight and two blocks. And Shea Gilligas did his thing, Malik Beasley. And here's the rest of the stats. You want to pause and look. Moses Brown is hell of a disappointment. I will say he's hell of a disappointment. So let's see if we can uh, get out the first round against Denver here. Simulate the round. And we got eliminated that fast. We were up 2-0 and just blew it. So um, I think I'm going to go one more season here. I'm going to sim the rest of the season and go to the off season and I'll see y'all at the end of the fourth season. Here and we did get the fourth season the playoffs. We won 54 and 28. We won 54 and 28, guys. Um I did make some trades. Um if we look at the transaction of the trades with my team which is OKC Thunder, we ended up getting some big players, man. So the first trade was we sent Malik Beasley and the Heat 20 24 2024 first round pick for Mo Bamba and a second round pick and we ended up making Mo Bamba a power forward, which boosted him to a 91 overall. And we ended up getting Anthony Edwards, man. We somehow, Mo Bamba and this pick, the Rockets pick, got us Anthony Edwards. There were so many great players we could have got. We could have got De'Aaron Fox. There was the Mellow Ball. Like, it was a lot of great players. I wanted to show y'all, but I just said, we'll wait till next time. So if we look at the player stats, it was Anthony Edwards with 22 points, three rebounds, two assists. Then it was Kate Cunningham with 22, six and 11. Chris Stops. Shea Gilligas, Gary Trent, and where is Moses Brown? Moses Brown's a 79, man. Not too bad. Let's see if we can get out the first round in this, man. Hopefully, we can get out the first round. And we're taking on Anthony Edwards' former team, the Minnesota Timberwolves, and we do get past them. Can we get past the one-seeded Grizzlies? And we do going on to take the Dallas Mavericks. Can we get past them? And we're in the finals, man. I guess going that fourth season actually got us to the NBA Finals. What is Moses Brown averaging for the uh, playoffs? Nine points, eight rebounds. I mean, that's kind of what he's averaging in real life when he plays like, because it says he, he's playing like 18 minutes and I bet lately he's been playing 30 minutes. Um, what is he playing? Is he playing 28 minutes? So I guess let's simulate the round so we can win the finals. And we do go on to win the NBA finals, man, as Kate Cunningham is your finals MVP. He had 
20 points, four rebounds, nine assists, one steal, almost a block, 51% from the field, and 45% from the three-point line, man. But this is the end of the video. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new. Let me know what other rebuilds y'all want to see or career simulations. Um, I'm going to start reposting more lately. I've just been busy with school and stuff. But if you made it this far to the end, man, leave a like, and I'll catch y'all guys next time. Peace.